Hey guys, Tails here, back with another video. Now, this video actually was recorded, the first part was recorded about a year ago, and it was me talking to a guy who appeared in my videos um, around the time I opened my night video. His name is Green Boot, and he is one of the most interesting guys I have met in VR chat. He's, I believe, it's been a year since he told me, but I believe I remember him telling me he was in his 60s, and to be in VR chat and just some of the stuff he's done and hearing what he has to say is just, to me, some of the most interesting stuff. Now, the reason, um, I've had this sitting on my PC for about a year, this first half of the video, is because... I had the footage, but I never really knew what I wanted to do with it, so I just kind of held on to it. I'm like, you know what, let's just see, let's see what, what happens, where life takes us, and then we'll revisit it. So, here we are, revisiting the footage. I haven't joined on Green Boot in a while, um, just because, you know, uh, got a lot going on and other stuff happening and uh we just do the paths didn't cross but tonight i was like i saw him on i was like yo let's go hang out let's let's go catch up with green boot so basically what i want to show you guys and with this video is just i just want you guys to meet green boot and just <laughs> his life and his journey because it is a crazy kind of amazing thing to listen to and i've been there in lobbies with him and there's just people enamored with his story so i want to use this video to tell his story and let you guys a little bit more insight into green boot and if you haven't seen my open mic night video yet link in the description in the video there'll be a tag somewhere if i do remember but let's go ahead and hop on to my conversation with green boot about a year ago and just see what he has to say so let's go ahead yeah and so i never sang anywhere not a lick until about six months ago my son's teaching me how to sing that's amazing bro i'm very proud of him he's a he's an excellent singer i can tell you right. i can tell you so where i was when the beatles came to the united states on the ed sullivan show I was, um, <laughs> okay, I, guess, I was, um, was nine years, I was nine years old, I think this is gonna be my last living in Illinois. Like, uh, Everybody was talking about the Beatles. You say you're nine years, but then what? <laughs> living in Illinois, I was a little um, kid. I was in like uh, fourth this grade. And everybody was amazed at these Beatles. They had such long hair. During around this time, they were like freaks. You know, that is incredible. I mean, they, it was very, it was very controversial how long their hair was. People said that was unhealthy. I have orchards and gardens and my turkeys and chickens. Do you have like apples on the orchard or just what kind of orchard? Yeah, I have apples, pears, plums, peaches, grapes. You guys make pie. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. We make wine, we lots of wine and oh, apple sauce. Oh nice. You got oh, that stash. Wow, <laughs> yeah. I, right behind me I've got crazy. two big jugs of grape wine. Big five gallon casks. They call it a carboy. Like barrels? It's in a glass, five gallon glass jug. Uh, I, I did a lot of work for NASA, yeah. So I was an engineer, mm -hmm. I was in aerospace engineering, and uh, you know, I worked for a big company for a long time, 36 years. And uh, you know, big aerospace companies work with NASA, so I didn't work at that, but we did work for them in various ways. Yeah. So that was kind of interesting. But you know, it was a job, you know, I was an engineer. It always sounds real glamorous to talk about these big fancy things but you know the reality is you know engineering is a tedious work you know it's you know it's sitting at a desk working out things with the computer in different ways yeah so that was my job yeah you you said something about the actually, space station or something well i did work um i worked for um i actually it was the space shuttle not the space station yeah yeah so when that was being designed, you know, that's the time when I was an engineer. Dang. And I worked on that in, in a small way, a yeah. very small way. And, you know, it's, um, there's so many people that work on that. And each person does a tiny, tiny little part. So it's easy to get the impression that, oh, you know, he 
worked on the whole thing, you know, but, you know, it could be one little screw or it could be one tiny little part that you work on that nobody really knows about. So. True. But it was that it's one just, little screw, you know, if it's not put in right, it. the whole thing goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, but I did work on it a little bit. Yeah. That's, that's amazing. Actually, that was one of my first jobs and I did, you know, just yeah. real minor, but minor parts but this is interesting all of those parts on the space shuttle were all drawn on a drawing board by hand and we pretty much did not have computers to do the design work you know it yeah. was all done by hand some of it was done with slide rules but um we made these giant drawings that some of the drawings were 12 feet long or 16 feet long and they were you used an ink pen and you drew out every little part every little hole every yeah. little rivet Wow. That was going to be in that. So I did some of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Very tedious. It's crazy to think that they were building all that stuff with like the technology available, like compared to what we have today. And there we go into space. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, the um, the computers that they had on the, like on Apollo, they were, even the space shuttle, they were nowhere near as powerful as what you have on your phone. Oh, you know, yeah. They were very primitive. Oh, you know, the technology back in the 70s was so limited compared to what we have today. Now, so my son is a musician, mm -hmm. a professional musician. Yeah. And I have never been a singer. I have never sung up until, I'm going to say about six months ago was the first time I ever sung. This six months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've sang, I've just practiced a lot, you know, and I practice by myself where nobody can hear me. And my son is in another city. He doesn't live locally here. Yeah. Um, but I've told him about that I'm seeing, learning to sing. And he helps me a little bit. He gives me some advice and things. But he has never heard me sing. And he's never seen VR. He's never seen VR chat. So I showed him your video. And he just said that was awesome. You know, it was so neat for <laughs> yeah. him to be able to see what that actually is. And how I talked about this VR chat. But he's never seen it, you know, and it's unexplainable. You mm -hmm. know how you just can't, you can't tell somebody what this is like. You exactly. know, with everything in 3D and people are walking around and, you know, and you can, you know, walk up to someone and it's just unexplainable. So he got to see it, you know, at least on a YouTube video. Yeah. Well, that's good. <laughs> and I, I do too. So yeah, I'm the same way. Especially yeah. when I was younger, I was I was so shy. You know, we could have a contest to try to figure out who was more shy. When, you know, in the, <laughs> the shy I contest. I think I would win. <laughs> uh, well, um, I, I I swear I would win. I don't know if I was necessarily but I, shy, but it's more like self-conscious. Especially if you're like in a one-to-one oh, one, okay. one -one conversation, like I don't anymore. Yeah. But I started out as a mute, and I would just fear and freeze up if we would someone would just come up and talk to me be like uh uh hi oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah um but um it's so much this is such a different environment for me because i just feel very comfortable mm -hmm. and for i sure. i enjoy that m more than anything you know it's this is like reliving all those shy years that i didn't speak to people mm-hmm I get to, like, I kind of get to have that back, you know, in a weird way, but I get to do some of that, you know. Yeah, I can totally understand so, that. And I can, I can tell that through your performances. I, I generally said in the video, I can tell you're just up there having the time of your life and that comes through on the stage, it really does. Oh, <laughs> I am. It's just one of the neatest things I've done, probably. And I'm, let's see, how did, I'm trying to think of how I got started. I went to a karaoke night last winter, a year ago, and because uh, I like listening to karaoke, mm -hmm. and the host was, tr there was nobody in the bar, you know, we were, I was sitting in the bar with Mrs. Boot, and we were sitting there listening to singers, and there was only like three or four people singing, Yeah. and the host was trying to get me to come up there, because he heard my, my voice, you know, I have kind of a deep voice, mm -hmm. and he says, oh yeah, you're going to be perfect and everything, so... It took six months before I got the nerve to actually go back to a, his show and sing. And I, I was awful. Oh, I'm sure you weren't that bad. 
But that for I your could. first performance, well, you gotta you got you gotta warm up, practice. And then I found out from talking to my son and other people, I found out that you know it takes a lot of practice. Like it's mm -hmm. not an inherent thing that people can just do. Generally, it really does take practice. So I, um, I just started practice. I practice every day for hours, mm -hmm. and then I started coming here, you know. Yeah. practicing for hours the thing that i was good at was software i was a kind of a software guy scientific software and i was able to make a job a career out of that so that worked out real well for me and but it took a long time to find that like i mm -hmm. a lot of the stuff i did was i was horrible at you know even when i was an engineer i just did stuff that i was terrible at and i hated it and then i i found out about software and I learned that and I learned how to turn my job, you know, incorporate that into my job. Yeah. And that was really, that made a good career for me. So. E. Actually, um, a lot of this graphics programming that's the basis of this, like OpenGL, the graphics library, the very primitive, most primitive level of graphics was very brand new when like I was around when it was all sort of just developing. It was just kind of being put together. And yeah. so I did some of the graphics, 3D graphic stuff and 3D animation stuff. And I incorporated that into my job. That was a lot of fun. Oh, I bet. So uh, that's another thing I liked about VR was to see how far it's come, you know, like the, the simple animation stuff that I did to make something move across the screen was just to make something move on the screen yeah, like was pong or something you know, like that game with the the bars and the little yeah, dots. something like as simple as that yeah. that was considered amazing to do that mm -hmm. and now look what we have you know the sound <laughs> yeah. and everything all these shaders and lighting mm -hmm. and stuff people putting together their own it's whole animations and stuff and they're doing it from home yeah, like I, it still amazes me yeah right and like just things people can do from home now even on youtube like you watch those animation videos of them working by themselves and it's just like damn <laughs> you did that by yourself like that's insane there's i i appreciate anyone that makes a live performance mm -hmm. you know i think every i think everyone genuinely loves it you know likes to hear it yeah for sure you know well i would say that to my son too when he was starting out and he would be so self-conscious about making mistakes on stage mm-hmm and I always told him, you know, people don't notice your mistakes like you do. Like, you know, if, if, the, if the musician, you know, hits a wrong note or something or just gets off, the, the audience doesn't notice that. They're, they're just enjoying yeah. that it's a performance, a live performance. There's the, the technical perfection is not that important. Mm -hmm. do you, have you ever performed on a stage? Um, I did. As a kid, kind of but not like solo. Well, we had school plays, but um, yeah. my mom put me into like this theater group and we did performances on stage. And I was like in productions of Oliver, but I was never like a main. I never had the confidence for that. Yeah. Even, even then I was super yeah. nervous just for being like child number 12 and going on and dancing. And it was actually made worse <laughs> because... Um, we were tra practicing for this Oliver production and um, my parents decided, hey, let's go on vacation for the last like two weeks for dress rehearsal, you know, the most imp important part. So it comes to the night and I don't oh. even know the dance because I wasn't there to learn it. And I'm like, oh, God. So I just start following all the other kids. <laughs> it's just, OK, let's go. <laughs> I, you know, like I said I was very shy and then I. I was, I don't know why, what made me do this play, but I got out there and it was time to, to read my like two lines mm -hmm. and I just totally froze up. I just couldn't, the whole play stopped while I just sat there and everybody was looking at me. And, and finally, one of the other actors had to read my lines for me because I just couldn't say them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, so I, I'm not a, you know, I'm not a performing type person. Yeah, yeah. But then when my when my son started performing you know, i would sometimes have occasion to walk just walk on the stage for some thing like to hand him 
a new cord or a battery or something, you know, cord, whatever, you know, like to help him a little bit. Yeah. And uh, like I would have to walk across the stage front, you know, in the middle of a show even. And I thought, oh, this, it's kind of cool because, <laughs> you know, and it was, it, you know, I, I wasn't being judged for anything because I was just walking up. I was just like in the background. You yeah. Know? It's like, oh, this is kind of fun being on the stage, you know, and everybody's <laughs> looking up here at me, you know. <laughs> I'm ready for my close up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anybody want my autograph? Just start dancing then, across stage. <laughs> yeah, da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you can wave. Yeah, I mean, you could wave at some, you know, kind of just be real cool and wave at one of the friends. Mm -hmm. or <laughs> and then, uh, so then to do the open mic night for the first time, you know, the IRL. I was just terrified, you know, I just, but it was this real, it was a dive bar, it was a pool hall, it was like at midnight, and just a bunch of old men in there, so I got up the nerve to do that, and then, you know, I did that several times and got a little more comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. Last night, I learned, had a couple of new songs to try, and I walked out there to do, you know, one of my new songs that I had never, I mean, I practiced it, but I did never... And I was just sweating. I just started sweating. I thought, oh my God, you know, like what? The, oh, I don't, you know, I just got so nervous. I could hardly sting. Mm -hmm. And I just, I would just was saying to myself, why, why am I nervous? What's going to happen? You know, not right. these, you know, these people don't, you know, it doesn't matter. I can just stop in the middle of it and just say, I'm not going to do it. How did you find like yeah. VR chat and like open mic night then? Oh, well, the, the way I found out about VR is kind of funny. I went to a boat show, of all things, <laughs> and they had a demo booth. It was for Progressive Insurance, an insurance company, and they just had this demo. It was just to draw people into their booth. Yeah. And you got to put on a VR headset, and they you got to watch a little scene with a boat driving around in the water. And I think I had a steering wheel, so I could, you know, like, yeah. the driving thing. And I was just like, I just couldn't believe it. I was just so blown away. I yeah. could not believe what I was seeing. You know, I thought I was in the boat and it was so amazing. And I went home, I literally went home and the next day I started researching VRs, <laughs> trying to figure out, you yeah. know, if, you, if that's something you could buy. Like, I didn't even know, it. this was two years ago. And then I talked to my other son about it and he said yeah and he told me which one to buy because he knew his friend actually knew about it yeah so that's how i got them and then i just bopped around different worlds and i had so much fun the first thing was i just ran into a lot of people that were fun to talk to yeah i made some friends and then i um, just started having a lot of fun with it and then i ran into open mic night somehow and uh, i watched it a few times and that was right about the time that I had, um, well, it was after a while. At some point then I started doing the IRL open mic night, the singing, and I just kind of put that all together. And now <clears throat> I don't I don't go to the karaoke bar anymore. It's more fun <laughs> for me to do it here. Yeah. Because I get to, it's just easier. Oh yeah, and like. The karaoke night. I think the audience here is better and is more, there's more people here that would are interested in listening. Mm -hmm. Like at a karaoke night, you mostly get just the singers. Like there's maybe 10 people in the room and there's those are the same 10 people that are singing. Yeah. So, you know, you just kind of going, it's like going around in a circle. Everyone does their song and then everyone gets the gratuitous, oh, you did a nice job, that was good, you know. And nobody would be critical. You, you you don't get a sense of whether it was good or bad. Yeah. Because you get the same the feedback. Positivity. You know, you get the same polite. Yeah. Because you told me to check oh. out your YouTube. And yeah. um, let me pull up a world real quick. If my worlds want to load, okay. that would be fantastic. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to. How do I pick a song here? Okay, so your songs are up here. Like, pick like A, yeah. B, C, D, so F, G. The... Yeah, you put down the things and we then pick them up when you're ready to go. Yeah. 
Oh, how do I? See, I don't know how to check them. Equipment. I'm not very good at pointing with these. For some reason, my. Uh, I feel like maybe these might be interfering. Don't point. You, you yeah. just like lift up. Yeah. There you go. Oh, well, they teleported. <laughs> but they're here. Oh, no. Okay, now I got it. Yeah, okay, yeah. page six. Oh, boy. Well, I don't even see anything I know. <laughs> Let's see. Try page seven. Um, Have a look at I'm this side. Oh, it's in Japanese. Friends <laughs> from the inside. Let me try C. Oh, it would be cool if they have the song that I know. There's, I saw some the, the oldies that, in the there. The one that I read. Yeah. Karma Deli. If. Uh, I'll just pick something here. <laughs> um, that song that I actually recorded me. I mean, I must have played that. I don't even want to admit how many times <laughs> I played that. You know, I mean, I know, I know you've probably done the same thing. You know, you just. Oh, see, and I always had trouble finding. Oh, beat it. Oh, there's a. I literally yeah, just played Michael Beat Jackson Saber for the first time a few seconds ago. It was bad. <laughs> you got your like different easy hard expert. Oh, okay. I have to that. Let me yeah. put these down. Then oh, hit play. Oh god, he's going all in, boys. Right, okay. <laughs> yeah, I am. Oh, I'm not going to expert, though, but... <laughs> you... Oh, I don't hear any music. Oh, you oh, um... have the world music off. Yeah, that might be why. If you hear the music... I hear it. You probably hear it. You can sing it to me. <laughs> I don't even know what the song is. I like air guitar. <laughs> um... I don't actually know the lyrics. But I recommend that. I think it's the most popular VR game. For sure. You know, I like it. Like, I'm going to go see my um, my son next week. Yeah. And uh, the musician, Richie, you know. Mm -hmm. So you, you had mentioned once you might be interested in some music that you could use in some way i wasn't sure maybe you weren't even sure what but i yeah. mean i would talk to him about it if you had any ideas could really help that i don't have to worry about copyright for yeah or in like end yeah, cards I mean, and I, stuff I'll, I'll, yeah i heard his stuff though so he was like really I'll, good I'll i listened him. to that song you sent me the other day like on repeat like 15 times i was like damn this is good um yeah, mr mystery mm-hmm was it th was it this one? Yeah, that one, that one. That one's really good. Yeah. So right. you saw it, um, because you know you you can't reproduce studio work live, so you have to have other musicians to kind of help you out. So that's you heard the the live version. Yeah. But he plays all the instruments, and it's just really cool. In fact, I I'm I'm learning to sing that song. I I was going to sing it tonight. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> just I I, I wow. know you're supposed to script and be professional, but I'm just so lazy to write a script. I'm just like I'm just going in. <laughs> we'll just we'll just see where it goes. <laughs> well, it I, I, see. I just think it's really it really looks good. I I really did like I really had fun listening to them. I mean, I listened to a couple <laughs> of them again because they were just. Oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and such was the legacy of Green Boot. my life <laughs> i can't drum to my death <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay so that was our conversation about a year ago and you're wondering why i'm not in my usual avatar because we were obviously in public instances when this was recorded so i'm just sticking with the theme and using this and this is the avatar i was using in the other public instance so it's been a year uh let's just catch up with green boot again and hear what he has to say and the kind of things he's talking about a year later like what his journey has been and how his like 
just being on VR chat has changed and affected his life in the last few months. Because again, all really interesting stuff, and I want you guys to hear his story. So, on to Green Boot. I'm not delusional about my ability. I, I understand that exactly where I see and I'm just in the middle. You know, there's better and there's worse and I'm somewhere in the middle. You don't need, you don't need to I be would... so humble. You're, 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 you have a beautiful voice. I think you told me once that you had some voice um, instruction of some sort or... Did you used to sing? When I was a kid, I was like forced to go to theater school, but that was about it. Well... <laughs> Okay, but they probably gave you some advice, you know? I See, mean, I never had that. Yeah, so that's things true. Things like... Breathing. You know, simple <laughs> things like... Yeah, it's things like that. Or, and I can, I can find a lot of that on YouTube. You know, I, I rely on YouTube a lot to... Oh, I just turned off that music. I mean, YouTube's a great resource. <laughs> yeah. But it's not the same... It's not the same as having someone stand in front of you and listen to you and then can give you immediate feedback. A lot of fun to listen to. <laughs> not wrong. Tails, do you yeah. think this guy is just a big liar or something? Or I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> so um, if you think, uh, I mean, if you call me a liar, No, I don't. I, no, I, I don't. I just, I just don't know how to react because you're just, uh, you're just being... I, I love it. I mean, I'm loving every second of it. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'm just trying to be... Modest? Trying not to explode. Like people <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I'll be up there singing, and I know that I'm singing in the wrong key. Like, you know what the key is, Tails. Well, Berserk, you know about singing. So, you know, I, I just know that I'm not in the right key, but I can't force myself. Like, I, I don't know how to know change it because I don't... Singing. No, you probably did. Nothing. nothing like once you start, nothing. once you, once you start singing and you lock on to some key, and you know it doesn't match the music, but it's hard to get your brain to shift, you know, and get. Like sometimes you don't know what do I need to be higher or lower. I can't find where I belong, you know. And I and I'm just standing there singing. I wish the world would end. I just want to be somewhere else, you know. Like there's that TV commercial where they say. I want to be somewhere else and you're standing there in front of these people holding the microphone and you just think and you're singing wrong you know you're wrong and you think i want this song to be over and i want to just disappear off the <laughs> 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 so a lot of time people probably don't even notice <laughs> to be fair well as a listener i don't notice i generally don't notice mistakes other people make because i don't have a really good ear for music so I, I enjoy yeah. any performance, and I don't ever notice that, oh, he was a little flat, a little short, whatever. I don't know. You know, it sounded good to me, you know. Right. And I know, That's me. for example, my brother. All right. I hope that guy. All right. I hope that. <laughs> All right. And that about wraps it up for this video. I do intend on joining up with Green Boot again, obviously, in the future, because we're friends. And hopefully it won't be as long next time. I, I feel kind of bad. But um, just, you know, life sometimes takes you in different directions and then you meet up again and you just kind of, we just really picked up where we left off and it was a lot of fun and I enjoyed talking to him again and we will definitely... Uh... My brother is very accurate. He's probably like almost perfect pitch or whatever they call it. And he notices every little note, every little mistake. And I think, what a curse, because you can't just enjoy it. You you just can't help exactly. hearing these little off, these little mistakes. Who cares? I was gonna say, <laughs> see, if I, if I ever took you out to dinner, I wouldn't be taking, well, we're, I, we're neither of us are, <laughs> this is just all hypothetical, <laughs> but I'm just saying. Excuse me. <laughs> if I, I don't know, maybe you had some fantasy going. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> it would be like, hmm? it would probably be something like Arby's or, you know, Ayo. country buffet McDonald's? or something like that. You know, that's Dollar the menu. Maybe, maybe, I'm yeah. down. Yeah, yeah. Green I'd be down for that. You know, taking yeah. me out to dinner. I have a fantasy of you taking me out to dinner. Take me out to dinner. Oh, no, damn. I don't have any trouble. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
We could go to Cracker. I would take you to Cracker Barrel with all the compliments <laughs> oh you've given me. Oh my god! You have no idea how much me and my friends love Cracker Barrel. <laughs> and I would get the French toast. I would get Mama's French toast breakfast, no matter what time it was. You're killing me. With bacon <laughs> and scrambled <laughs> eggs. Bacon and scrambled eggs. Mostly Unity, like, like even use? change the colors, put on like custom animations, like swap out parts. Oh, okay. That's usually what I'm doing. Nothing too advanced, you know, like m like modeling and stuff. No, nah. could never, could never get the hang of that. Unit uh, Blender is not my friend. We don't get along. <laughs> we are not simpatico. Yeah, I, I, I didn't. I had a real hard time using Blender, but I did use it a little bit because I had to, uh, when I put in like the eyes to the blank, I had to, you know, I had to do some stuff to say, okay, these are the groups of pe pieces that are going to blink. I forget exactly how I did it, but. See, I mean. And I did that in Blender somehow. Right, like learning tutorials and stuff. Like it was hard enough learning Unity. I don't want to mess too much with Blender. You know, being created on, on the computer is so much different than it was. Well, you know, a long time ago, I'll just say a long time ago, you know, <laughs> basically typed, everything was just typed in, like, yeah. you know, on a typewriter, practically. Yeah. And you could load, like, three documents, <laughs> if you were lucky. <laughs> right. Save three of them right. to your PC. Yeah. All right, we got three documents, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> time to empty the files. Well, the floppy yeah. disks, <laughs> let's now go. Just... And I've been wanting to come on and say hi for a while, but, like, I keep getting distracted with stuff and stuff like that and then i'm like bruh it's it's been another day or i'm like i'm gonna join green boot and then oh look it's like 1 a.m he gone well you can pop in and say hi anytime you know mm -hmm. I, I don't mind people leaving as long as don't leave in the middle of my song but you can <laughs> always listen to my song. oh look at the time gotta go <laughs> nah nah <laughs> oh, do you still and, play beat um, saber um, not so much anymore. Aw, oh, dang. Um, <laughs> you were on the are grind. You, are you getting into it or something? No, no, I was just wondering uh, if you still yeah. played it. <laughs> I understand the story, you know, I just, I have real doubts about my ability. And I know, yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't have doubts. I know that I'm not a great singer, but I want to be, and I try to be. And, you know, so a little bit of encouragement really helps me along, because I know that... <laughs> I need a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, it's about the heart. You gotta sing, sing your heart out. It's not necessarily about the melody, you know. <laughs> and even then, it sounds good. <laughs> oh, well, but for me, it was easy to start when I knew that I was totally anonymous. And yeah. That I didn't. And you know, the next day, somebody wasn't gonna say, "Oh, I heard you singing." And well, oh, yeah, yeah, it was <laughs> kind of funny, but or, you know, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't yeah. Want, even if they didn't say it to me, I don't want to be known as, like, so, well, I, I don't want to be known as the guy that... I'm not even that, that popular. I have, like, 450 subs. Nobody knows who I am. <laughs> like, literally nobody. <laughs> I don't have to worry about that well, yet. Then that's not an issue. <laughs> then that's just not an issue, but... Well, I don't know. Let me just ask you this. Is, I keep I keep talking to you like you like it's something you would want to do, but maybe it's just not. I don't know why I got the impression. <laughs> not I really. Would, I think it would be I think it would be good for you though to just get yourself out, just come out of this like coming out of your shell, so to speak. And I'm not trying to. Yeah. I'm trying to say this in a very loving way, you know. <laughs> to, I mean, really, it, it's it's kind of a freeing thing. I mean, I feel so much better about myself Having done knowing it. that I'm able to stand up on a stage and hold a microphone in front of these people. Yeah. It's like changed me as a person. You know, it's like I don't have to be, I don't have to be afraid of who I am. You know, I actually can do that. And I don't know if that's you, you know. I, I'm, I, I'm projecting a lot of my, you know, inhibitions on you which might be wrong but no nah, it's know, you interesting here to stuff you don't have to tell me i think for me personally it's just, like making the videos and 
that's been my version of probably what you're doing <laughs> to get myself out there. Like, I wouldn't have been talking to random people yeah. in the world, like, a year ago, like I just was doing. Like, I would have been... Like, I just didn't know how to join the politics conversation, but <laughs> normally I'm a bit more talkative and stuff. Uh, yeah. You know, you're trying to develop yourself into a little bit more comfortable around, you know... You're getting out of your comfort zone a little bit. And yeah, singing really got me out of my comfort zone. Yeah. And, um, like, I waited to, I didn't get out of, I was very shy. I think I told you that before. When I was really, you know, as a teenager, I just was totally shy. And I really started to come out of it, like, when I retired. And I got away from my work group. And then, um, so actually, I'm the president of our homeowners association. I don't know if you know what that is. That was a big step for me. That was a giant leap because I was... You know, because you have to stand up in front of the people and be, it's not, it's not a big deal. I don't, <laughs> don't make too much. It's not so, no, 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 no. It's, it's, uh, Mr. No, no, President. No, no, no. Scientist that, and just, a president. I mean, oh, my God. <laughs> no, no, no. When people say that, I just immediately grab a hold of them and I grab and I just take them and the I, president. I, I just, I just say that because it was part of uh, my process of getting more comfortable, you know, yeah. with, you know, expressing things and, and, you know, being in public because I, that's never something I would have, yeah, yeah, that's what I did. I confronted my fear and I just said, I'm going to do it, you know, and it, it was, it, it really paid off because I just feel it's like it, it changed me. I mean, I I feel yeah. like you know, like I don't. I'm not afraid I, I anymore. Just, you know, all that. I constantly try to fight my fears because just the return on it feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> Quit. Him. Just keep giving him praise, and he <laughs> won't leave. You're <laughs> Mr. President. <laughs> Mr. <No>. President. <laughs> <laughs> I warned you, you're not allowed to say that, and you're only allowed to say it one time, and then no more. <laughs> only one, everybody gets one. Oh, you too. <laughs> okay. Bye, Mr. Bye -bye. President. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Oh, President. God. See you next I'm time. 2024, by the way. Reboot <laughs> in 2024. <laughs> All right, and that about wraps it up for this video. I do intend on joining up with Green Boot again, obviously in the future, because we're friends, and hopefully it won't be as long next time. I I feel kind of bad, but um, just you know, life sometimes takes you in different directions, and then you meet up again, and you just kind of we just really picked up where we left off, and it was a lot of fun, and I enjoyed talking to him again, and I hope you guys found his story interesting too, because. I've been on VR chat since like day two and by far one of the most interesting people I've met in VR chat and I kind of also wanted to have you know have a bit of the green boot legacy on my channel because wherever he goes a lot of people just fall in love with him they like to go listen to him sing on open mic night unfortunately I do I do have footage of him singing it's in my open mic night video but I don't want to put it in this video too because copyright reasons I already got flagged on the other video for his song so I'm preserving this one but yeah this this guy has such an amazing story such an amazing life and being able to pick up on little bits of it and each time we talk and he's just like my whole life is basically out there now it's like yeah kind of is <laughs> you're welcome but he's he's so open about telling people anyway so i don't think he'd be bothered he'd probably be very flat so mr president this one goes out to you <laughs> oh you'll hate me for that one uh but hey he can't block me well he can block me and mute me actually but i don't think he will <laughs> we could hope but anyway Thank you guys, as always. I hope you enjoyed the content. I hope you enjoyed the video. Something a little different, a little as I like to do on my channel occasionally. I, just on a side note, I don't generally make these type of videos very often. It just, you know, it just happened. You know, I'm not going out of my way to interview people or anything or just make 
content around them but it's just i was so fascinated my camera was rolling he was interested to talk so i'm like yo <laughs> let's talk but yeah i'm not that kind of vtuber where i just go out and interview random people thank you guys for watching please like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one good boy. Mr. Mr.